my father took huge risks coming to this country, man. My father came to this country looking for a job with a degree in botany. <laughs> a bachelor's degree in botany. And guess what? He couldn't find any botany jobs because it wasn't the 14th century when that was a new field. And he missed the plant rush of 1749. <laughs> My mother took even bigger risks because she also left everything behind because she married some dude with a botany degree. <laughs> I feel for my parents, man, now more than ever. It must have been so hard for them. They're immigrants, they're raising American kids. What do they know about American culture, you know? They, they struggled, they screwed up a lot, but they tried. You know, I remember this one year, me and my brother really wanted a Christmas tree, because a lot of our friends had Christmas trees. We'd see Christmas trees in movies and on television. I should, I should let you know at this point, I'm a Hindu, or as it's pronounced in America, uh, Muslim. <laughs> The fear with that joke um, <laughs> is there might be someone who's like, hey man, why did he say Muslim twice? <laughs> is he a double Muslim? I don't <laughs> anyway, Christmas trees, Christmas trees. So <laughs> me and my brother really wanted a Christmas tree. We're begging for this tree. Finally, my parents get us the tree, but they don't know they're supposed to buy presents and put them under the tree. They think we just want the tree. Dad's excited. Oh, the boys love botany. <laughs> no idea. He has no idea. We look under the tree early Christmas morning. Me and my brother are like, no! Santa's racing! Chris Kringle, that's two Ks right there. That's what I've learned actually traveling. I've learned holidays test your friendship and relationship, all the ships actually, every ship you can think of. I'm serious, I've traveled a lot, I've realized holidays will test your friendship. I know people that's been friends for 10 years. They go holiday together for seven days. Come back and you ask them, oh my gosh, how was the holiday? I saw the pictures on Instagram, how's you and Kelly? Kelly, I don't chat to that bitch no more. Like, 18 men, she's a whore, you're like, oh. Christmas time in New York, how great is that? Yeah. Come on. Any tourists here, anyone visiting our city? Yeah. Yes. Thank, please enjoy it, we're very proud of it. We want you to see everything and, and just and have a good time. Thank you for spending your money here, let's, let's be honest. But could you walk a little faster, please? Just pick it up. Yeah. Oh, it's, all right, it's, it's a tree, lady, just keep moving. That's, this, this is once in a lifetime. No, nope, we do it every year. Let's pick it up, lady. Come on, let's go. I don't understand. I got places to go. You guys are just walking around like, God, look at the lights. It's a building, you hillbilly. Get out of the way. <laughs> what part of Middle Earth are you from that above ground living has you stymied, for God's sake? You see them, they're like stunned by civilization. Like, they got trains in the ground, Mark. <laughs> this must be the Underground Railroad. <laughs> you can come up, Harriet, we won. <laughs> yeah, Christmas time. Christmas time was magical in my house when I was a kid. Uh, our, 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 our decorations were a little ghetto because we didn't have a lot of money. But we had, we had a Christmas tree. It wasn't, we didn't really have a Christmas tree. My Uncle Frank worked for United Airlines and uh, they were throwing out, the, they had a 14 foot white Christmas tree in the JFK terminal and they were throwing it out and he took it. So he got the top half and so his Christmas tree had a point. <laughs> we had the bottom half. So we had like a seven foot Christmas hedge. <laughs> it was like a white Christmas hedge. And God bless my mother for trying to sell it. It was like, boys, how nice. What do you want to put on top? And How about the rest of the tree? <laughs> and they didn't cut it straight, so the angel was always leaning over like this. The angel always looked like he was, he was looking into the kitchen like, hey, we eating or what? How long are we gonna be here? <laughs> so we had the Christmas hedge, and then we had this, oh, we had this plastic frosty, the snowman we put on the front lawn. And every year we would blow off the lawn. My father would say the same thing. Look, get a piece of rope, make sure Frosty don't blow off the lawn. Who the hell wants to hear your mother, right? So I get the rope, I tie it around Frosty's neck and I hung him from our apple tree. 
And all the Mexican kids from down the block are running over with bats. They're like, hey, piñata. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> but it was magical in my house. I couldn't wait to get home. You'd, you'd walk in when I was a kid and the hedge was all lit up. <laughs> my mom was cooking, the place smelled good. They had all the holiday music playing like, there'll be much mistletoe and hearts will be glowing, so be of good cheer. My mom was in the kitchen, is someone gonna help me? <laughs> this is the last time I'm giving this family a holiday cause nobody cares. It's the most <laughs> wonderful time. <laughs> Then she start talking to the turkey. Aggravate myself year after year. <laughs> Next year we're going to my sister's house. She should know what I do for this family. <laughs> you're lucky you're dead. <laughs> oh yeah, my mother was tough. She made a cop cry once. <laughs> she did. You know why I pulled you over? I am not a mind reader, mister. <laughs> I was speeding so I wouldn't be late, and now I'm not gonna get there at all. You happy? <laughs> Those tears don't impress me. Get back in that car and think about what you did. <laughs> you, my brothers are in the back seat like, oh, don't shoot her, it just makes her mad. <laughs> Those bullets better be silver or she ain't going down. <laughs> She worked real hard to give us a good holiday. I, I loved having the holidays when I was a kid at, at my house. I hated when we had to go to my aunt's house because me and my brothers used to get that pre-holiday warning in the car. Mom would be in the front seat. She'd lean over to us in the back seat like, now when we get in there, <laughs> you're all gonna behave like gentlemen and not embarrass your father and I. We're gonna act like a family and enjoy the day that our Lord was born. God damn it! <laughs> and you're gonna kiss your grandmother. No! Her teeth come out of her head! I'm glad the pandemic's over so I can go see my family again. Yeah, that's <laughs> They're great. Oh, love them. Thanksgiving, yeah. Ugh. Oh, that came out of a can too? Can't wait to eat it. Get out of here. I love... Wisconsin in the winter because people get amnesia every year. Do you, right, like every year they're like, oh my God, it's cold out there. Oh, have you been out there? It's really cold. Can you believe it's this cold outside? Yeah, yeah, I can believe it. It happens every year, every year. It's very predictable. It happens the same time every year. Oh, who knew? Dudes on, 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 on camels traveled for miles to come give Jesus gifts for his birth. They were like, Jesus, ha ha happy birthday. Here's some gifts. And Jesus was like, yeah, like I'm like the son of God. I'm, I don't need these mortal items. Also, I'm a baby. <laughs> How about on my birthday, you guys get, get, get gifts for each other? and we'll call it Christmas. And the next year, that's exactly what they did. Everybody got gifts for, for, for everybody else. And that happened again the next year, and then the next year. And then one year, Jesus, he, he, he started to see what he had done. He was like, it's my birthday. My buddy comes over to our house Christmas time with his kids. His daughter's 12. She looks about 16. And I say, when did you stop believing in Santa? And then my buddy and his wife are like, what kind of loser family is this? She looks 16, she can have kids. And later on she cursed. She cursed at the dinner table. Oh, you're cursing Santa-believing 12-year-old that looks like she's 16, can have kids. There's something wrong with that. What's Christmas morning like if she could have a kid? What if she had a kid? The two of them are running down. Where's all the stuff? I don't know. What the fuck? That's for a fucking truck. Mommy, mommy. Oh, shut the fuck up. Each of us. 
"'Twas the day after Thanksgiving and all through the malls, people were pushing and shoving. I yelled, settle down, y'all. I had 15 people on my Christmas list and $1,000 to spend on their gifts. I shopped and I shopped. I found bargains galore. There were shoes and TVs and jewelry and more. And when I got home, I quickly checked my list. I wanted to see if there was anyone I missed. But when I looked in my bags, I could not believe. Everything I'd bought had been for me. Away to my purse, I flew like a flash. I tore open my wallet and counted my cash. Only $100 left to divide 15 ways? Six bucks a piece won't buy much these days. So I picked up the phone, I called all my friends. I said, I've been thinking about Christmas and the message it sends. I said, let's just get together, have a cup of Christmas cheer, because <laughs> I spent all my money on myself this year. <laughs> yes, they said, we'll have a party, we'll laugh, and we'll sing, forget buying gifts, because we did the same thing. <laughs> I hope you've had fun and your spirit is light. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.